I think the history of Fort Mosey needs to be told not just locally but also nationally and internationally and we do our best to do that between Kathy doing talks all over and I do them as well. Um, it's unfortunate that people haven't found out as much as they should have about this place, this wonderful place. Um, they tend to get the American narrative is everything starts in 1619 in Jamestown and I always have to say to my audiences no, for a more than a century before that, there were people both free and enslaved of African descent on the whole southern tier of our country, from Florida to California, actually. And in Florida, the first free black town of what is today the United States was established long before anybody was aware of it. I think once this fort is actually built, people of the public will be much more excited to see it. They may not want to read all my footnoted work, uh, and hopefully they do want to see the beautiful museum and the exhibit that Darcy McMahon and Kathy Deegan and I worked on forever. But I think the Ford, as you heard, will be exciting, especially for the children, I think, to get to see that. Um, they already enjoy the military reenactors, but the Ford makes it even more real. Well, the problem is that uh, many people don't read Spanish and not the <laughs> Spanish paleography of the old manuscripts that we have to work in and so on. And so English is the predominant language in this country, and although Spanish is becoming that as we become more and more Hispanic, um, that's been the, the barrier so far, linguistic. And I think once uh, you know the public sees more physical objects like the fort, they may take the interest to actually read some of the history drawn from the Spanish work.